Welcome back guys, episode 14 of the Arsenal Save and we are about to play the Carabao Cup final against Manchester United. So uh, let's see how we get on, we're just going to go straight into it. Uh, the usual team, pretty much. Uh, Eric Garcia comes in for Gabriel suspended, unfortunately. Uh, it's straight in, why not? See what happens. Uh, just quick one, before we start, the, well, as we start the game. Uh, apologies for the lack of uploads the uh, the last week. I'm having a bit of a rethink on the whole, on the whole channel. Uh, after, I'm going to play through this Arsenal um, playthrough right till the end, and then I think uh, the regular videos on Friday are going to keep coming uh, about just like things in FM, like tips, tricks, etc., things like that. Uh, like maybe we'll do some like saves to try. Uh, maybe I fix some of you guys' saves, or we show your best Nugens, etc. Just some stuff like that on Fridays. But I think on Monday I'm going to come away from FM, but stay on football. So as we get this game underway here. I'm going to explain a bit what I mean. So, what I want to do, eventually, I want to do a podcast, I think. I think that's where I want to go eventually. But, before that, I think I want to talk about, like, the the, the, the action on the weekend of football. And, like, the talking points, what you guys think. Maybe, like, get some comments on Twitter, get them up on the screen and go through them, sort of thing, like, talking points. Because I think I find myself talking about football a lot when I'm live streaming. And that's fine, that's brilliant. I'll, I'd love to talk about football as we go one and up there with Jim Sancho. Um, so, yeah, yeah, on the live streams, we it's the link's below if you want to come and join in. Uh, I'm going to start changing the live streams as well from 10pm every night to 9pm every night because it's a bit late 10pm for some people. Um, and we always end up talking about actual football. Uh, again, like I said, which is brilliant. Um, it's just I think I can put that to use on YouTube too. So we have FM content and eventually once I get the hang of this all YouTube thing like making time for it more and more videos we'll go to maybe like three videos a week and then we'll go like two FM and one football related content etc. But I just want to do a bit of both. I don't want to just pigeonhole myself onto FM and that's the only thing I ever do and then if in the future I want to go to real football it's more of a shift. So if I do it from the start as like a side thing and see how it goes I like the talking points, like a January transfer happens, or a, a summer transfer, or a big match happens, or a big incident. Like I said, I'll, I'll go on Twitter, we'll get opinions, uh, questions about what you guys want to maybe um, talk about in the video, and then I'll put them up on the screen, and then we'll talk about them. I think that's a good way to go. Thomas Party's looking injured. So let's bring him off. It's, I mean, we're fully in control of this game, but I mean, it's Man United, so let's just hopefully see this through. But yeah, that's the thought process on the... Uh, on the whole channel. Let me get. Let me. Let me know what you guys think, because uh, obviously you guys are the most important part of this channel. Otherwise, there's no point in me doing any of this if you guys aren't interested. All right, Yazabal's coming on. Why not? It's always a good team when you can bring him on. We'll also bring on Yusuf Demir. Just some pace down the wings, fresh legs. Hopefully, 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 that ticks over and we've won the trophy. Okay, they've got an attack, and then that if it, it's not great, is it? Very Manchester United, this. Oh, as soon as I saw Alex Tejas then I'm thinking, this guy's got some technique. <laughs> this is 1-1. Right, so hopefully Donnarumma, well, he passes this. I was going to say kicks it, but he passes. <laughs> That's the most Arsenal thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh my god, 95th minute, that is just the most Arsenal thing I have ever seen. But we do get the job done. The Carabao Cup is here. It's the second trophy, I think, this year, or the third. I, I can't remember the Community Shield and the Super Cup. I, I think it's the third. We'll have a quick check, and then we'll get on to the next game, <laughs> which is uh, Everton, I think, in the Cup. Or we'll, we'll, in fact, well, let's have a look. Well, let's pick the next match now. So Liverpool won their... Um, Game in hand. Uh, Manchester United didn't play. Man City also won, but Man City. Uh, I suppose they are still quite a bit of a threat. The top four, the top, th the, the second, third, and fourth are still a bit of a threat. Right, so that's the double. Okay, so we uh, won the Community Shield. Thomas Partey's injured for four to seven days. Four to seven, not forty. <laughs> right, so Erling Haaland wanted silverware, and we got the EFL Cup, and he's happy with that. Don't know what to say about that, but yeah, we got we get that. Two in a row, two Carabao's in a row. Uh, let me just check the next games. Shall we play Leipzig next? 
I think we play Leipzig next. I'm going to get through these games and then we'll play Leipzig next. So, when we come back, guys, uh, it'll be 1-1, one, one, uh, sorry, 0-0 nil, nil from the first leg and we were away, so that's not good. <laughs> so, any goal they score, we have to score a double amount, obviously, as the away goal rule. But, until then, I'll be right back. And we are back with the second leg of the Red Bull Leipzig game. So, the four games we played since, since the Man United game, uh, Everton, we won 2-0 fairly comfortably. Wolves again, fairly comfortably. Leicester, not so comfortable. We had Tadebo to thank for a header on the 88th minute. And then Sheffield United, Haaland got a hat-trick. And we just ran away with it. So now we've got uh, Leipzig, like I said, second leg. So let's get straight into this. This is the team. Um, Haaland, Sancho, Pepe, front three. Even though Sancho's in a poor run of form right now. Not sure what else we can do there, to be honest. Maybe a Yusuf Demir on that side or... I don't know. Anyway, I think we're going to stick with Sancho because he's got that capability of scoring something crazy. Party, Oa, Kamavinga, Hector, Tadebo, Gabriel, Saka, Donnarumma. As Kieran Tierney is out injured for a couple of weeks, I think. Yep, a couple of weeks. Right. Let's get straight into it. Let's do it. So look at their team. There's no Pemecano. He's on the bench. That's quite nice. Alfredo Morelos, though. Hopefully he gets sent off. That'd be nice. Right, so as I said in the first part of the video, um, the away leg ended 0-0, despite us missing a lot of chances. So, if they score, we have to score two. Simple as that. They score two, we have to score three, etc, etc, etc. Hopefully the first goal's ours, and then we can just cruise to a 2-3. <laughs> okay, Pepe. Oh, <laughs> go on, lad. Awful goalkeeping, but let's watch this from a better angle. How's that going in that side? Oh, it's poor. Oh, shocking. Shocking by Galaxy. Galaxy. Oh, mate. Champions League, that's a shock of that. Can we make it two? Let's see. Let's whip it back in. Nope. He's caught this one. Straight out of Pepe. Oh, I'm lucky. Hector picks it up inside. Part it. Bellerin. Into the box. Out to Camavinga. I think Saka's on. No, Saka's not on anymore. Oh, go on, Hector. Okay, unlucky lad. Not bad, not bad. Good start. Very good start, in fact. Very, very good start. The good thing about getting that first goal is even if they score now, they would be going through, then it's still only one to score, you know? The issue is if they score two, then we are in trouble. Pepe going for another long free kick there. Ambitious, that lad, isn't he? Go on, Jaden. Go on, Jaden. This is the game to pick up that... Oh. That's a poor miss by Haaland, to be fair, for how good he is. Ten shots on target in one half is very, very impressive, especially in the Champions League. Let's give them some praise, because we're 1-0 up. They're still in the 4 2 3 one shit. They've not changed that. They brought Galeno on, I think. He wasn't starting. Hit it. Hit it, Thomas. Oh... Sancho again having a poor game. I'm going to take him off for Yusuf Demir. Let's see what he's got. Let's take Thomas Party off. He's just had an injury. Let's put Kessie. Uh, no, let's put Tenali on. Kessie's looking uh, apprehensive there. I don't want apprehensive players on the pitch. And then I think our last substitution should be Oyazabal maybe for Pepe. Now we'll bring Reese Nelson on. And we'll switch the wingers' sides because that's their preferred size like that. There we go. Perfect. So far it's perfect. A late goal for them and we are done. It's looking like it's not the most exciting of games, but there we have it. There we have it. We are through. So I think it's the... Is it the quarterfinals? Yeah, it's the quarterfinals now. This is the league table, though, just before we go. Uh, Liverpool keep going above Man United because they keep playing before them, but Man United keep winning. Mason Greenwood's banging goals in. 
so yeah, we're six points clear of Man United, effectively, because they'll win their game, we'll probably win ours. And um, let's have a look at this, uh, the fixtures at the end of the season. We still have Man United to play, but af apart from that, it's relatively... I, I want to say easy, but... It's FM, so you never know. We've got 8.68 million there. We are into the quarter-final of the Champions League. Let's have a look at the guys that went through. So it's Bayern Munich against Porto. Bayern Munich went through and away goals. Lazio against Atletico Madrid. Lazio went through fairly comfortably, surprisingly. Uh, Leon got knocked out against Barca, even though they beat them at, at the Camp Nou. I think Messi scored there in the 85th minute to put Barcelona through. Uh, Benfica comfortably beat Dortmund. We beat Leipzig. PSG comfortably beat Juventus. Man City comfortably beat Real Madrid. Sorry, Man United and Man City. Oh, Hertha Berlin went through and away goals against Man City. Interesting. I wonder how that game panned out. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, okay. Hertha Berlin went 3 1 up, so Man City nearly, t nearly pulled it back. Right, guys, that's going to be it for me. Um, make sure you click like, subscribe, and don't forget to catch the live streams every night at 10 pm. Also, about the first half of the video with the uh, the channel going forward, I'm going to put a Twitter link in the description about the channel going forward and what you guys think we should do. So go and make sure you vote on that. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you in a bit. Goodbye.